Hi guys, thanks for watching. Today I have a Destination Wax <clears throat> haul to show you. I haven't done a haul from Destination Wax in a while. I did place a really large order and then I tried to get through a lot of it. Um, some things I really loved and hung on to and I need to finally melt them, but I saw that she did a restock and I figured, okay, let me buy backups of these ones that I think are really nice or I've really liked or, you know. And then there's a couple that I wanted to try. So my order wasn't extremely large, but I will show it to you. Anyway, it did come in a priority fly rate envelope. Um, and then within that was a, another priority flat rate, uh, like a mailing box. And she put the stamp on it right there. That's like their destination stamp. And then this was also placed in there as well. And so it says, thank you, Christy. Enjoy your order, Rebecca. I, she just goes the extra mile. Like I love the extra little details. Um, I left that how it is, but I just kind of ripped it that way so that I could show you. In here are where she keeps samples. I'm not going to talk about pricing or anything like that. I can just link the website below and the Facebook group. So if you decide you want to order, then you can. So the first sample I got is Earl Grey Tea. It's in one of these little sticky bags. She's probably just trying to use these little sticky bags up because some of them aren't in those. Honestly, it's a sample. So I just don't know how you could complain about what packaging they put it in. Like, it's a sample. This is a nice tea scent. It does smell like Earl Grey Tea. I like it. I, I will probably melt that on its own, and then um, if I don't like it on its own, I might, like, add a different flavor, not flavor, oh my gosh, <laughs> a different, like, fruit, fruity scent or something, like a lemon or a berry to make that a little bit different. And then the next one is Juicy Fruit. You can see it's all like one of those little shaped buns. I have a Juicy Fruit scent from Sassy Girl Aroma. This one is, it, it's difficult because... The bag, like it was, it must have been like close to something cinnamony because all I can smell is like a fall cinnamon scent. Like, like a hint of that juicy fruit. If I didn't know like from common sense that it was next to something cinnamony, I would be like, that doesn't smell anything like juicy fruit. But it does smell like um, the wax I got in this uh, juicy fruit gum scent from another vendor. I got that in a random act of kindness. Um, I like Juicy Fruit, but it's not one that I would purchase. But it's really cool to see, like, that specific scent turned into wax. It's neat. And the last one is French Baguette. And this smells just like any other French Baguette you would get from another vendor. It's, like, almost sour smelling on cold. But it smells really good when you warm it up. Just that uh, definite... French baguette bread, bready scent. So those were the three samples that she sent, which is nice. She doesn't have to send any samples. I would still be happy. But I think that's very sweet. Okay, so I bought some four packs. I'm just going to pull out of here. I probably should have set this up, but I do like just kind of showing you how it was all packaged. It did come wrapped with some gold paper. And then also taped with this cute little Paris tape. It says Paris, uh, I can't even read that. That's too small for me. La, something, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Okay, so a couple of them came in like those four packs and then um, I did get some single scent shots that came separately and then a few of them that she actually bagged together. So I'll kind of show you what that looked like there. And she uses like this cute little fabric that's like map fabric that she cuts into little ties. I just think that's like another cute extra touch. Very creative. I have noticed that since the last time that I placed an order, she now does a pour date sticker. Thank you, Rebecca. That is... Well, on top of like all the extra things that she does, that's very helpful so you don't have to write it on yourself. Um, and just another way of showing that, you know, she's going the extra mile to, um, what, am I, what am I trying to say? To satisfy her customers. Okay, there's one scent shot that doesn't have the sticker on it. It's this one right here. Oops. So we'll start with that. Let's start with this one. This is Cranberry Pumpkin. I wanted to know if this smelled like the Bath and Body Works dupe. 
That's what it was supposed to be. Upon smelling it, I would say it's very close. Cranberry pumpkin doesn't smell like pumpkin. It's almost like a cranberry, sweet can cranberry bakery scent. There's like a little tiny hint of like a cinnamon sugar. Like a sweet, sweet cinnamon, I guess. Um, that smells very good. When I do smell that, it does remind me of the Bath and Body Works candle. You know how it does that scent trigger. So I would say that's either the oil or she got it extremely close. And the next one is Blackberry Marmalade. Again, poor date sticker, which is nice. I've had this for a while. I'm not going to lie. And this one... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> you can tell my voice is getting shaky. This... I, this, I, mm, I think this is probably my least favorite of the order. Um... It's kind of spicy, peppery. Okay, it kind of smells like blackberry, but like a dried artificial blackberry. It doesn't smell like a sweet blackberry marmalade at all. Um, if you've ever used Tingle tanning lotion or worked at a salon where they used Tingle tanning lotion, there's a specific scent that Tingle lotion has, and that is what this smells like, and I don't like that scent. It's almost like um, uh, self-tanning spray or like spray tan stinky bodies and tingle tanning lotion. Like it smells like that. So I'm not a huge fan of this. And then I do smell like a hint of blackberry, but I, no, that one's not really for me. I would not repurchase that based off of my first impression. Okay, and then strawberry seeds. This is a repeat uh, purchase for me. I do have another one of these. This smells so good on cold, I had to get at least one. I I think I was debating getting it in a four-pack, but I thought, no, this is a popular one she'll bring back. I don't need to get it in a four-pack right now. I just want, like, a backup so I can melt one, enjoy it, No, I have another one if I decide I want to melt it. This is such a good strawberry scent. Ooh. It says sweet and zesty strawberry. Oh, it's a, it's a sweet strawberry. It smells like you took a bunch of strawberries and mashed them up. Like the fresh strawberry chunks you would like put on uh, ice cream or get in like an ice cream sundae like that. Just juicy, strong strawberry scent. I love that one. Okay, I'm going to rip into this little bag right here. And talk about these other three sun shots and then we'll go on to my four packs. I got five four packs. I'm not gonna, you know, I don't really talk about like the scent notes. I'm not gonna read you a long scent description. I'm just gonna tell you what I think it smells like. I, I feel like that's probably not as helpful, but maybe more helpful. I don't know. Um, one thing I did notice is that she did put the scent descriptions on them. So like if you want to read this, it's like baked cranberries and pumpkin sweet, rich, and lightly tart, you know, like, so if you're going to do a haul video, at least you have the scent description there, or if you, you know, I don't know, so, yeah, so let me go back to this one really quickly, sweet, citrusy, blackberry, marmalade, mostly blackberry, no floral notes, uh, ooh. it just smells like that tingle tanning lotion, okay, so we've got yellow pear, if you want to look at the scent description, you can there, I wanted to try the yellow pear versus her red pear, which I really like, Oh, that's so authentically pear. This is like your classic Anjou pear. Is that how you say it? Danju? Danju pear? Danju? Danju? I just say Danju. Mmm. This is like your dole fruit cup. You rip it open. You smell pears and pear juice. Oh, it's so good. There's nothing, like, perfumey about it. It is just fresh, authentic pear. So good. Really like that one. I'm happy I tried that. Um, the next one is Beach Nights. And this is supposed to be, like, her dupe for Beach Nights. 
So I was excited to try this because I've heard people say that this is like a close dupe to Bath and Body Works. And then I've heard people say, no, it's not. You're crazy. <clears throat> I am on team. I'm on team. No, you're not. It's crazy. Or that's crazy. This is not Beach Nights from uh, Bath and Body Works at all. Don't get me wrong. This smells really good. This smells like the, um, it's like a salty sea air blend. I think it's from Dessa's that a friend sent me and I love it. I don't want to use it up, but, um, I have to cause I can't hang on to it forever and hoard it, but it's definitely one I would like create a custom loaf for. So I could see myself wanting this in a custom loaf. This is really nice. Um, it's like a sweet salty sea air. It's like Salty Sierra with marshmallow. Mostly marshmallow, though. There's no, like, smoky bonfire note. Oh, it even says it on there. Marshmallow, beach fire, and ocean breeze. Not smoky, more marshmallow. Less ocean breeze and beach bonfire, which is another 100%. Yeah, I think this is, like, that Salty Sierra with mostly marshmallow. It's a good marshmallow, though. It's not that, like, toasted marshmallow that um, a lot of vendors have that I... I'm not a huge fan of. And then I got Danish butter cookie. I really wanted to try this because um, I want to expand on bakery scents and I kind of smell, you know, like I'm, I'm not really into zucchini. Sugar cookie is hit or miss. So I thought, let's try this cookie scent. This smells really good. Oh, I could see myself wanting to use this in like all kinds of bakery blends. Blend this with everything. It would smell good. That is a good cookie scent. Mm, and I know a lot of vendors do this, but it's not as popular as like zucchini and sugar cookie and um, like a blend of like monster cookie and that type of thing. But this is a good cookie scent. And that needs more love for sure. So there is that. Now let's go on to my um, four packs. <clears throat> I got... I'm going to quickly reorganize here. Okay. <clears throat> I got the red pear in a four pack because I love it so much. I actually tried to decide if I need it in a four pack or if I should just get a scent shot. But the only scent shot that I have, it's, I've been holding on to it and hoarding it and it actually smells really light and I'm afraid I'm not going to get a thrill. So I don't know the longevity of this scent um, because I could hardly smell it in that scent shot. So um, I know that I need to melt these a lot sooner and not let them sit for like a year. Red pear is just lighter. It's lighter than a yellow pear for sure. It just smells like a different type of pear. It's very authentic. Um, having smelled yellow pear now and red pear, I can't decide which one I like more. I oh. Gosh, they're both so good and so authentic. I almost want to say yellow pear because it's stronger. But that's something I would need to melt to really know. But pear scents, when done right, smell so freaking good. So there is that. And then um, <clears throat> pomegranate apple cider. I think she did away with her pomegranate cider, which is sad. I really like that scent. I like this one and I like that one. I would have bought a four pack in that one as well, but that one was discontinued for some reason. Do you guys know why? I don't know why. I have like one scent shot now and I don't want to, I think, and I don't want to use it because it smells so good. But this is the pomegranate apple cider. Just apple cider pomegranate. And this is so good. This is so good. There's a little bit of like that false spice you get pomegranate, you get apple cider. Oh, it's so good. This is such a nice scent. This is like my kind of fall berry scent. So, so good. Like, I want to drink that. Okay. All of these are good, so I'm going to rave about all of these pretty much. Okay, another repurchase. I have not melted this yet, but I love it. It's vanilla root beer. Um, again, you can see those, the said descriptions if you want to read them yourself, but I'm not going to like take the time to do it just so that <clears throat> this video isn't super long, but this scent is so delicious. Ah, oh, it just smells like a root beer float. 
you get the root beer barrel, root beer scent. Yes, great. I've seen, you know, that on its own. Root beer is fine on its own, but I love the vanilla aspect of it because it is strong in there. There's, you don't have to like really go to the stretch of the imagination to smell that vanilla. It's definitely there. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I can smell vanilla ice cream and like the little bit of the foaminess when they mix together that you get. Like, huh. Really good scent for summer or just whenever you want that type of scent. But it's kind of a weird, strange scent that not many people would like. You know, you, you have to like that root beer scent. But that just smells so good. Okay, and then we've got Sugar Vanilla Champagne that I melted on New Year's Eve last year. It was my New Year's melt, and I loved it. It was so good and so strong. This, I wish every vendor would do. Mmm. Mm, this is good. Again, you can smell that vanilla. It's sweet. You smell a champagne note. It's just really nice. And this is a strong one. I love it. So good. So, so good. <clears throat> and then the last one I got is new to me. And this is Blackberry and Bay. I've heard a lot of people talking about this one. So I had to try it. I will talk about the scent description. This is Blackberries, Bay Leaf, Grapefruit, Flowers, fruit, vetiver, cedar. This is the Joe Malone type. I've never smelled that, so I didn't really know what to expect, but when I saw it was a Joe Malone type, I knew it was going to be like perfumey or cologne-y. Um, I like blackberries, so I figured I would try it. I don't really know, like I couldn't identify bay leaf, bay leaf scents. This is nice. It's this is a nice scent. I'm glad I got it. I don't think I needed it in a four pack. I probably could have gotten in a scent shot to try it and see if I liked it. I don't think they had it available in that though. Um, it smells like a unisex scent. Very smooth, um, kind of citrusy, fruity. smooth, but then like a little bit of false spiciness from that uh, cedar and vetiver. Yeah, this is, this is nice. It's definitely like a, more of a home fragrance scent than like most of my things, which are like fruity and weird and, you know, kind of not something most people would want to melt or have as a home fragrance in their household. But, um, yeah, so this is, this is nice. Uh, I was going to say something about this and I can't remember what it was. Oh, no, I was just going to mention how pretty the, like, cubes are. You know, and, like, all the different patterns that she puts on them. They're just, they're pretty, you know. She, she puts a lot of time and effort into them. And something as simple as this, like, stamp and then using, like, a foil spray to sp do that, like, over a spray just adds the extra touch. It's just really nice. So that's my destination wax order. I probably won't place another order anytime soon because I don't need any more wax. So I'm really trying not to place more purchases, but the ones that I repurchased today were like my favorite, my standouts from that very first order. So I knew I was going to eventually want to get them. I'm glad I have them now and I can take a break from ordering. And try not to spend any more money on wax and get through what I have. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If there are any scents that you just think I would really like, let me know. If you have your opinions on any of these and you want to share them, I love hearing from you guys. So I don't know like a ton about Destination Wax, um, but I like talking to you about it. I want to know what you think, which ones you've tried, which ones are strong, which ones aren't strong, and all of that stuff. So um, share your thoughts with me. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.